This way. Oh. Nice move. Oh. Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. <laughs> but with him being the main character and all, funny. <laughs> I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, wow. maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business, having him just lie there. Wow. Rest in peace and all that. Wow. The end. <laughs> hey! <laughs> This is so good. Uh, yeah, back off. You really don't want to be standing there. Nadine, I'm giving you the count of five. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everybody doing? I apologize for the sound issues there. I was messing with stuff, trying to fix up the stream a bit over the last few days. I did some Windows updating and stuff, and of course that means that uh, OBS screwed up its audio settings, but it's all fixed now. Ah, you heard it. Excellent. Good. And, oh, wow. Hey, I don't even need you guys to confirm that captions are working. I can see that they're working in OBS. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, we are going to do Knights of the Old Republic tonight. I've already got it loaded up on the Switch. I've also got a solution to the battery problem we experienced last time. So that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, if I do start to run out of power, we can just go until it stops alerting me. When the battery dies, I can put the uh, I can put battery adapters on, so that'll be that'll be good, and that will be very convenient actually for next week in particular, because it's time for me to remind you guys that not tomorrow, not this Friday, but a week from tomorrow is going to be the long stream of the month for May. I know that's a little earlier in the month. There's actually the 27th, which is the last Friday of the month. But I'm bumping it up a week this month because the 27th is the premiere of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series. And I am not going to schedule myself to do a long stream and miss that. There's no way. So, what were we up to? I think we had just gone back. Oh. Shoot. We just died. If I remember correctly, what ca I think it was an arena combat. I was trying to go up against Marland. That didn't end up going so great. Where's our journal? Messages. Let me see what you've got for sale. Okay, so we went. Oh, we. Um, we went to Janice Nall's shop and we got the robot and we got our monies back after it blew up options map active quests Taurus planetary information the dual ring we've beaten ice we still have marl and a few other contenders escaping Taurus. Candorous Ordo, a Mandalorian mercenary working for Davik, will help you get off the planet if you break into the Sith military base. 
and recover the planetary departure codes. A T3 droid could get you past the security doors, but it'll take more than that to deal with the Sith troopers inside. Oh, right, the military base. Did we... Oh, God. Does... Wait. We've got... We've got T3. Hey, Bastila. Hey, T3. Does that mean... Oh, jeez. Okay. Mm. How are you doing, Bob? It's good to see you. I'm just trying to decide here what's the best way to proceed. I'm not sure if grinding is really an option in this game. I mean, we can go through here. Maybe we can find some more... Sith to fight or something. But I think this is the kind of game where once you trigger an area and you clear out the baddies that are supposed to be there, you're basically done. Grinding Warframe? Nice. Largo. Please. Please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. You mean you're not here to kill me? But uh, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? Maybe I could help you with your problem with Davik. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. No problem. I am on a quest for light side points after all. Plus, I want to loot these containers. He had an extra five credits in here. What the heck? You were holding out on me, sir. Nothing in here. This is where we had a battle earlier. Clearly we've already looted that one. Seems like a lot of time spent on Taris, like more than 20 hours worth. I have not streamed this game for 20 hours. But yes, uh, the entire first part of the game is spent here. You can't leave. On it. Done. Don't, don't hurt my family. Look, just take what you want and get out. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. I will help myself, though. Thank you. I don't think I've streamed it for that long. That would be like four or five streams if I'd done 20 hours. Pretty sure this is only stream number three. Yeah, this is like nine hours. And there's definitely not 11 hours worth left on Terrace. I mean, we're not done on Terrace. There's still more we've got to do, but there's not that much we've got to do. OK, 
Okay, that's the droid job. Excuse me. We're just going to go back down to the lower city and poke around. I want to see if I can grind a little more. But, like I said, I really don't think that this game has a whole lot in the way of grinding you can do. Hey, you can't come in here. This is a private apartment. What are you doing in here? This place looks abandoned. None of your business. Just turn around and go back the way you came if you know what's good for you. Are you in some sort of trouble? Do you want to talk about it? I, I guess I could tell you. You'll probably find out on your own eventually anyway. Zax is giving his bounties away like candy or so I hear. My name's Matrick. I used to work for the exchange, but all the violence and killing started to get to me. I knew what I was doing was wrong, so I turned state's evidence. My testimony helped put some of the biggest criminals on Taurus away for life, but Davik didn't like seeing his friends go down, so now he's got a bounty on my head. Maybe there's a way I could help you out of this mess. I don't think there's much anyone could do, and I'm getting sick of running. I've decided to make my stand right here. Maybe you could turn the tables, you know, have Davik eliminated. Getting inside Davik's base is nearly impossible. Even if I got rid of him, the exchange would just appoint someone to his place and I'd still have a price on my head. Maybe you could fake your own death? I've already thought of that. I even came up with a plan of how to do it, but I can't pull it off while I'm holed up in here. Tell me your plan and I might help you out. The trick is getting Davik to buy it when there's no body found at the scene. If it looks like I died in a massive explosion, he won't be suspicious when my corpse never turns up. If I had an accomplice go back and tell Davik that they were the one who set off the explosion to eliminate me, I think I'd be home free. I have some demolitions experience from my own days in the exchange, so I could set it all up. But I'd need to get my hands on a permacrete detonator, which I happen to know is sold in one of the shops. I could get you a permacrete detonator. They don't usually sell them in stores here in the lower city, but the upper city might carry them. You might want to look there first. And as luck would have it, that is precisely where I've seen them for sale before. That's the military base. We do need to go there, but that's where I need to be geared up and leveled for. To fight Darth Revan, the Jedi used Bastila's battle meditation to board the Sith flagship. Okay, that's the clinic. So the shop we want is way down this way. the cantina where we were just handed our ass by Marl. Hey, if times 
weren't so tough, I'd give you a discount, seeing as how you're a big celebrity and all. But with the Sith occupation, I can barely afford to keep the doors open. Ah, uh, reputation as a swoop bike rider is spreading. Because of the Sith quarantine, I haven't been able to stock any new inventory, but I've still got some nice items you might be interested in. Um... There we go. That used up almost all of the rest of my money. But that's fine. To me, people, that is a terrible spirit. All right, let's head back down, see what we can get. Afraid you wouldn't come back. Did you manage to find a permacrete detonator? Have a permacrete detonator right here. Go on, take it. Let me see. Yes, this should do the trick. There won't be anything left of this apartment but some scorching on the walls after I set this bad boy off. You're not going to get your security deposit back, sir. Wait, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Tunipudu. Rana nu prata dung no sercha. Ichua benki. You fool. I hadn't looted the place. Damn it. Mucha shak pangpa. Not a man for long goodbyes when I want to say thanks. If it wasn't for you, I'd be a dead man, but now I won't have to worry about any more bounty hunters coming after me. So good luck and goodbye. Now that I'm dead, I can't be seen wandering the streets. Light side points gained. Yay. Okay. Oh, and the container is still there. Damn it. Ugh. Black Volker, yay, we get combat. There we go. Now, do they have anything? I'll take it. Oh, 
was trying to pick the lock. Security crate. Warning, access is restricted to authorized users only. Please activate the holograms in proper order to confirm authorization. Further attempts at unauthorized entry will result in the detonation of the patented Holosec Corp. and Enet Theft Explosive. Oh. Oh, shoot. That was a misclick. I'm reloading that. Hopefully that doesn't set us back too much, but that's ludicrous. I don't think that's too... Oh! This should be after I got the detonator and before the explosion in the room. Maybe I can loot the container before we talk to him. Let's see. Oh! Either that, or maybe there's not actually anything that I... Oh, oh there is. One... Uh... Hi. What can I do? I'm here. Out of the way, please. Thank you. Four credits, a med pack, and a computer spike. Ajuta. Shut. I mean, those computer spikes are pretty expensive, actually, so that's a good deal. Thank you. Now we have to fight the Volcars again. Just realized we do need to equip Bastila again. Adrenal Strength, Adrenal Stamina, Advanced Prepare Kit. Very nice. And a couple med packs. Ooh. You get some decent stuff. So that's the hologram stuff. 
The Twisted Rancor Trio. Guts and Glory, a chronicle of the amazing story of the Twisted Rancor Trio by Gilthos Uxaris, a work in progress. The origins of what would eventually become the most famous band in the galaxy are surprisingly humble. The brains behind the group, manager Gilthos Uxaris, founded the trio to earn a date with a young singer named Elinda. The ploy worked and Elinda became the first member of the band. Giltho scrambled to find musicians to back her, and signed a Bith named Uja to be the lead musician. Soon after that, he signed Uja's brother Uji to complete the trio. The band struggled at first. Elinda was a fantastic singer, but Uja wasn't much of a musician. When Elinda threatened to quit, Giltho's fired Uja and signed another Bith named Lupa. Of course, this didn't go over well with Uja's brother, and Uji quit. Fortunately, Lupa knew another musician named Photo, who joined to replace Uji. Led by Elinda singing, the second incarnation of the Twisted Rancor trio became quite popular on their homeworld of Taurus, eventually attracting the attention of local legitimate businessman Davik Kang. Davik asked Gilthos to bring his group in for a command performance. Gilthos agreed, realizing this could be the band's big break. Unfortunately, Elinda had heard certain unsubstantiated rumors about Davik Kang and his connections to the exchange. Fearing for her life, she refused to go to his estate to perform. Many felt that without Elinda's singing, the band would crumble, but Gilthos came up with a brilliant plan to save the group by hiring Elinda's sister, Ashana, as the new head singer, as the new lead singer on the eve of their scheduled appearance at Davik's estate. Gilthos knew he was taking a risk. If Ashana couldn't perform at Elinda's level, Davik's infamous temper could have dire consequences for the entire band. However, if Ashana could match her sister's performance, then Davik was likely to sign the band to a big-time touring contract. It was a risk, but the Twisted Rancor trio was founded on Guts and Glory. There are no further entries. Okay, so this is going to be the key to the puzzle. It's going to be based around who joined when. So the brains was Giltho Uxaras, then Elinda, then Uja, then Uji, then Lupa, and then Photo. And then, what's her face? Ashana. Uji, Bastila, Lupa, Uja, Elinda, Security Crate. Ashana, Photo, Uji. Okay, so the uh, the founder guy who basically started the entire thing, he's not one of the options, which means we're going to have to start with Elinda. Uh, you certainly did not. I'm not sure that's actually English, Bob. I can't read any of that. <laughs> Okay, so that's Elinda. Then Uja. Then Uji. Then Lupa. Then Photo. And then Ashana. Chani fiber armor and 50 credits. Boop. 
Oh, this is upgradable armor. Let's go back to the uh, room shortly. Hey, Burnt, how's it going? Heard a series of names I could not type fast enough, so half of it... Oh, you were trying to... Okay, got it. I, I see what you're doing there, Bob. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh... Oh, shoot, you're right. It didn't take when I changed that. Oops. Knights of the Old Republic, not the Old Republic. There we go. Thank you. I appreciate that. Frag grenade. Oh, hi. How can I help? Never mind. Suggest we move on. Yeah, good idea. We're in the middle of combat. I appreciate it, Bob. That's really kind of you. I can understand it now that I know what you were doing. Sentry droid. Not much of a sentry droid. shouldn't tag wrong. I was actually just told about that, and I updated it, and it should now be Knights of the Old Republic, but thank you. How's it going, Greeny? It's going good. I just solved a hollow puzzle, and got some new upgradable armor that we need to go fix. How are you doing this evening? Alright, let's head to the map, and we'll just head straight back. I'm glad to hear it. How was, um, uh, is everything still hellacious at work, or have things gotten a little bit better? Making tea? Excellent. Try refreshing, Tagarung. Armor reinforcement, mesh underlay, there we go, much better defense bonus with a much higher dex bonus. you're doing oblivion project today oh that's exciting I'm really glad it's going well could be Tegron could be but I literally just fixed it like a minute before you alerted me so maybe it's just taking a little bit of time to filter through kind of working our way through all the different apartments and stuff. Don't worry, sir. I'm not here to hurt you.
Excellent, Aburn. Okay. Now, do you have anything special? I haven't talked to you since the beginning of the game. Kept accidentally hitting options we've seen before. Sorry about that. Thank you for the host. Jessica, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. How are you doing, Jessica? Just another Twitch being Twitch? It is, Tigerung, it is. Caught up the ketchup, Jessica. It's so good to see you. Tap Girl, how are you doing? It's wonderful to have you both here. What's going on this evening? Uh, how was your stream? What were you up to? Could I get a shout out for Jessica, please? Uh, if you've never been here before, folks, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a variety of games from really narrative heavy character uh, you know, character development games like RPGs to strategy games to sandboxy games. Lately, I've been diving a little bit into the retro scene with, uh, well, this is a good example. Actually, it's a retro RPG. I also do retro adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I also have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, <laughs> Okay, that. Let's go for it. Oh. Whoa. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. Be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Yesterday I finished Somerset Questline, so day I, today I was able to start Elsewire. That's so awesome, Jessica. Well, thank you so much for bringing your community in. We're playing a little bit of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic this evening. It kind of fits with the May theme of Star Wars that I've been doing. Uh, we're still working our way through Terrace, so although we're getting towards the end of this particular planet. Which will be good, because uh, after that point, the game starts to really open up. And we'll get into... Oh, dear. And we'll get into some more parts of the game. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Sure I can. Do it all the time. I was just investigating the area. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. 
But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Holden, that's a familiar name. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. That's actually a generous response, given the fact that I just broke into her house. You would think she'd be pretty decided on the whole, no, I can't trust you thing. I will go lurk to find something to eat. Enjoy, Jessica. I don't blame you. I know how it is after stream. You can trust me. Maybe I can help. No, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Please, just leave me alone. Damn it. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. Please let me redo the check. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. No, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody. Good. Okay, fine. Oh, that's our hideout. I think we've already looted all the places here. We'll have to come back and see if we can redo the check with Dia at some point. How are we doing on leveling up? Oh, hey, my light side points are getting way up there now. That's really good. We're actually pretty close to leveling, too. I just need like a couple thousand more XP, I think. All right, we already talked to those guys. I guess it's time to head back out and see what else we can get up to. Have we already been through every... Oh, that's weird. Okay, have we already been through... Oh, there's no apartments here. That's the way to the casino. That's right, that's the clinic. Mad, how's it going? I'm having a pretty good night, thank you. How are you doing? Well, what are these? This looks like apartments. Yes. A good night? I'm glad to hear that, Matt. May I have your attention for a moment? Please welcome our newest follower. Elf will have a company seat prepared in just a moment. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Clearly, I've already been here. Interesting, but I hadn't looted this place already. Emergency, we're being raided. Alera, Eld, Joduri, and all librarians report to hospitality stations immediately. Have library guards at the ready. That close to a double raid, Jim Racer. How was Star Trek Online tonight? I don't even have to ask what you were playing. And well, how are things going, Jim? It's so good to see you and your folks. Welcome on in. What is going on? Could we get a shout out for Jim Racer, please? 
he is a fantastic streamer. Definitely worth your while if you want to go uh, check him out. Hello from Trek to Wars. It's good to see you, Jim. Uh, so if you've never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of RPGs and other games with really strong narratives and good character development, as well as some strategy stuff and sandboxy stuff, and lately some uh, retro RPG and adventure game stuff. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Also, apologies to those of you who just saw this a few minutes ago. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. That, sir. Be coming, actually. It's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. And no problem, Jim. I know how it is. I'm going to actually have to go on a bit of a break here in just a couple of minutes myself. It's starting to get almost to the point where I'm late for my break. Thank you so much, Nanotechnician. I appreciate that. I need to update it. I need to recreate it using a more current version of the clips and maybe make a few more so that it's a different one each time but I really like it I'm not gonna get rid of that one anytime soon even if it evolves a little bit man I've looted all these okay so we had nothing really new in that one Wait, uh, wait, hang on. I didn't want to go here. That's just how Fallout is. I need to modernize, but I still want to keep this. Well, that raid video was the first video I ever made, right? So I think all things considered, it turned out pretty good. But... I've learned a lot since then. I can make a new version that keeps all the good parts, but smooths out the rough edges and is just a little bit better. And add some more variations as well, because those are all very old clips at this point. I can, I can add in a few new raid videos so that you get a different one each time, and some of them will have newer, more current 
material in them. Hard to know what clips go together and that are in line with how you play. Well, I don't worry too much about finding clips that are in line with how I play. Since I'm the one that played all of them, they're all in line with how I play. I just tried to go for a good mix of things that show off the things that I try to do while I play. Like, you know, headshots are featured pretty heavily in the thing. And so are unfortunate goofs and falling off of stuff. All of which are things that tend to happen a lot whenever possible. Well, not so much the falling off stuff. I don't try to do that as much as I possibly can. That just kind of happens. But you know what I mean. Okay, we did this one. for a moment this was the apartment where we talked to Dia. But actually, now that I think of it, she's in the upper city, isn't she? We're in the lower city. bounty office is. Might be somewhere in the cantina, actually, now that I think about it. But I don't think I've actually stopped in there at all this playthrough. More apartments. We'll take a quick spin around here, and then I need to take a break. If anything really time-consuming happens, I might take it before we're done. No worries, Jim. What's going on with the weather? There we are. Man, there's really not a whole lot in here, is there? What do you got? No money? Damn it. Sylvan! I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone, but I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. doing pretty decently so far. Sorry, I didn't actually mean to kill you. But there you go. Repair kit. Ooh, she's got good stuff. Scope. Neural band adrenaline amplifier. Nice. Well, that was my own fault. I forgot completely that we'd already talked to her and that she was kind of insistent on being left alone. Well, good news for her. She will now be left alone forever. Boop. 
This is an electronic personal message center, though it looks like it hasn't been used in some time. There is one unread message on the system. Hey, Elam, how's life on Terrace? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave Hyperdrive behind to keep you company? I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you, because you might need it. Taris isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strongbox. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. Oh, right. I remember we read that message. But we were not able to break into the long box or the strong box because uh, Uncle Louie was correct. But we didn't have T3 at that point either. Droid upgrade class two. Only two points. Wow. Powers. Can't do that one. There we are. Hey, I'm actually more light side than Bastila. That can't be a good sign for Bastila. Impop Excuse me. What can I do? Hmm? You could use your lightsaber on that strong box. <laughs> Bastil is fine. She's still light side. She's just not as light side. She may be a Jedi, but she's still human. Light daggers? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, this is all the way down to the Undercity. That means the Bounty Office pretty much has to be inside Javiar's Cantina. Only non-stealth part would be the unsheathing of it and, you know, the whole glowing and the humming. Lightsabers as a whole than any related technology is really not stealthy technology there. There's no getting around that. Nothing about them is stealth whatsoever. Okay, guys, I really do need to take that break, so if you will bear with me, I'm usually about three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. So if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to get up and move around some. I like to take a break every hour or thereabouts. So if you need to get up yourself and stretch a little bit or move around, get some food, get a drink, get a, get a snack, use the facilities, whatever you got to do, now's a real good opportunity to do it. And I will be back as soon as I'm you know done in three and a half to five. I kept expecting some sort of, um, you know, gunship or something, which may still be coming, actually.
It is so cruel of them to put so many Makos right here and just not let me drive them. How dare you? Well, I'm not cold anymore. I stand corrected. What is this? She's ignoring it. <laughs> wow. It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. What? Oh my god. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Maybe somebody was experimenting with cannons on the island or something. Whoa! What? 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 It's... Oh. <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, what? Please somebody clip that. Holy... Please! Yes, please uh. clip that! Oh my god! <laughs> of that, but I always forget about it. Sonic encouraged me. What? I expect to be well paid for the money. What the heck? Nabi, thank you. I have no idea what that is. You don't have to tell me it can be a surprise. I will do an unboxing on stream after that arrives. There we go. and make a curse for my wife! <laughs> I probably should have taken advantage of that, but that was too funny. Amulet of Lost Voices. Speak with dead. The dead hold no secrets from Jurgle's Scriveners of Doom. I love... These oh my god. Oh my god. Scriveners of Doom is the best title ever. How to have a fire. I can do some cooking. Un oh shoot. <laughs> <sighs> Out of the way, folks. Don't make me shoot you. Okay, I'm back. 
All right. Gelrud. Uriah. Oh, maybe if we find Holden, maybe we can uh, deal with him ourselves. I figured you'd be back. Oh. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. But we've got a small problem. I haven't heard about anyone breaking into the military base yet. So I know you don't have those departure codes. If you want me to help you, you've got to bring something to the table. So until you get those codes, we really don't have much to talk about. I forgot you were here. I'll be back when I get the codes. I'm glad to hear it. I'll be waiting right here. Good. Okay. I totally forgot he was going to be there. Holden, just the guy I didn't want to see. Hey, baby, back again, I see. I guess the old Holden charm is still working. The ladies just can't leave me alone. I think you got that inverted. I don't like the tone of your voice. I work for Davit Kang. I'm used to people treating me with respect. I don't care who we're you work for you seem like a slime bulb I don't have to take this abuse from you I came here to relax shove off and find someone else to bother I want to watch the dancing girls I don't have the option to just straight up murder him do I no crap okay sketchy moment please a librarian has just renewed their subscription thank you Thank you so much for five months, Sketchy. That's really, really awesome. How are you doing tonight? It's good to see you. I'll be going. Okay. Candorous, we don't need... Zax, there you are. I've got a bounty I want to collect on. Telemetric is dead. I believe you, human. I've heard reports of a rather large explosion, and some of my people saw you buying the Permacrate Detonator. It's good metrics dead, but maybe you went overboard, human. Next time use a blaster, not a bomb. Bombs are messy, but at least the job is done. So Selvin's dead. All the other bounty hunters who went up against her ended up dead themselves, you know. You did well, human. Okay. Well, hey. That was an easy payday. Have a good night, Bob. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. That gives us a little more cash to work with as well, which is nice. We're still not quite where I would like to be as far as levels, though. What am I, level 7? Need about 1,250 ish. Actually, I'll take the fast route back. I just want to pop into the workbench for a moment as well as heal up. You're at your sister's place right now. That's nice, sketchy. 
how are things going there? Okay, so we can't do much with her lightsaber. He's already fully equipped. We can put a scope in there and a hair trigger in there. Maybe what we can do, now that I've got the extra cash, if we can't get up in levels, I can at least spend the money that I just got upgrading T3 further. We should be able to afford some more mods for him. That'll make him a little bit more of a force to be reckoned with, no pun intended. And then that'll make the military base a little bit easier. We had her graduation today in St. Louis. She's officially got her doctorate. That's amazing. I hope it all went well. So, Jim, I think I forgot to ask, uh, I regret that, how did Star Trek Online go? What were you up to? And how the heck do you get a California-class starship? I logged in today, very briefly, just to look at all the ships that are available, and I couldn't find the California-class anywhere. But I kept reading that it was a thing that you can get. For those of you who have no idea what I'm babbling on about, the California-class starship is the class of the ship that they use in Star Trek Lower Decks. Inventory is a bit limited because of quarantine. Let's see. She, see, she sells computer spikes. Oh, she sells parts, too. Droid light. Oh, uh, actually, I'll be right back with you in a moment. I think I've already got. No, no, no. What's he got there? Regular blaster pistol. Let's do an ion pistol and a disruptor pistol. And then he's got level one energy shield. Oh, and yes, we did already buy light plating type two, so we can do that. What? How to a punky? So I don't need to buy that. Ran the two near newest Terran Arc episodes and started the revamped 2049 Federation. Oh, I saw something about that too, Jim. How is the new Federation tutorial? Is it significantly different than it used to be? What did they remaster in it? Because that sounded pretty cool. As for the Cali class, you can only get one by winning it after unlocking an infinity lockbox. You can get lockbox keys in the C store for Zen, which you buy for real money. Yeah, okay. I was afraid it was going to be something like that. That's unfortunate. So, 
security interface. Oof. Stun ray, shield disruptor. I mean, I kind of think maybe I need to get the security interface tool. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, which retweet was that sketchy? I retweet a lot of stuff. They've revamped a lot of the interiors, including the bridge and various interiors of the Star Airship. Ooh, nice. Plus, they added Admiral Janeway to the tutorial missions? That's incredible. Okay. I think when I do eventually start streaming Star Trek Online, which is going to happen now that it runs so much nicer on my PC... That pretty much settles it. I'll just do a standard 20, you know, 25th century start for it. Oh, for Critical Role, yeah, sketchy, yeah. I am determined to get a Cali class. I would love to get one. I don't know that I would ever actually use it, though, is the only thing. I really like... I, I, I use kind of a kit-bashed version of the Odyssey and the Sojourner. I use the big, broad saucer section of the Sojourner with the rear section of the Odyssey class. And it ends up looking really, really nice. It's kind of like an oversized and sleeker version of the Galaxy class. Did you see what they did with Star Trek Discovery when Aaron Eisenberg died? Yes, they uh, dedicated a ship in his name, which I thought was really nice. It was really sad that he passed away so young. Oh, thank you, Aberrant. Now that we have the enhanced security on... What's his face here? Where do we see your skills at? Do we not see your skills? Skill rank 10, bonus plus 4, total rank 14. I'm hoping we can get into that secure lockbox with the letter from Uncle What's-His-Face. Okay. I don't remember if that was in the uh, Undercity or not, though. That's the only thing. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Used to play an MMORPG? Which one, Sketchy? It's very possible, Sketchy, but when I'm streaming, I have, like, no memory. Makes me a bit sad every time I hear his voice in Star Trek Online. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where we are now. Oh, Lord of the Rings, right, right. Yeah, a lot of people still really like that one. And I didn't want to go here at all. Okay. Oh, yeah. He was so great in so many different shows. If you're a Star Trek fan, actually, a series that has absolutely no relation whatsoever to Star Trek is nonetheless one that you should absolutely watch. It's called Boston Legal, if you've ever uh, seen or heard of that one. It stars William Shatner, René Auberjonois, um, and... I'm 
trying to think of all the other Star Trek connections it's got. It's got like 50 gazillion people in it who have been various roles in Star Trek and other shows like uh, another one of the primary stars is um, like I said I have no memory for anything when I'm streaming Jesus uh, James Spader that's it who, uh, who played Daniel in the original Stargate movie is in it. That's just a phenomenally funny show. Quit playing because it was super glitchy? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, exactly, Jim. Exactly. That's the guy. Phenomenally good show. Really, really, really funny. Wickedly funny in a lot of ways. But it's just got so many Star Trek people. Also, Eureka and Warehouse 13, especially Warehouse 13, has a lot of people from the Trek history in there. Yeah, it really is one of uh, Shatner's best roles. I would agree with that 100%. I went off William Shatner when I found out he hates me and all other autistic people. Ooh, that's not good, Grim. 50 years of looking up to someone and he turns out to be utterly vile. Yeah. How's it going on, Star? It's good to see you. As in Ultron in Marvel. Yes, sketchy. I know him best as Daniel Jackson from the original Stargate movie, but he was also Ultron in Age of Ultron, and he was... What's the other one he did? Uh, he's... Uh, one of the main characters in The Blacklist. That's going good in the Old Republic on Stara. We haven't gone back to attempt the military base yet. I've been sort of scrounging around, gathering up all the stuff that I can get my hands on from various apartments, taking on quests. I accidentally had to kill one of the most famous assassins on Terrace. Oh, what a shame. But I collected a 300 credit bounty on her, so that's cool. He's the main character in Blacklist. I think the, uh, the lady agent he's so interested in is also right up there with him, though. Raymond Reddington, yeah. Also an excellent character. Not maybe quite as good as Alan Shore, but a really good character nonetheless. Never actually watched the show. All I know is from promos where he was featured a lot, yeah. I've, I haven't seen all of The Blacklist, but I've seen enough of it to know that it's really good. One of these days I need to finish that one. This strong box is a particularly sturdy construction. The lock is a computerized touch panel that uses a password entry system. Because this box is an older off-planet model, there is no interface for you to try and slice the system. You'll have to figure out the password if you want to get inside. How did I... I went to all that trouble to upgrade his security, and it's not even going to help me. Wow. Okay, let's read the letter again, then. Okay. I take it you've seen the first episode of Strange New Worlds? I have seen the first episode of Strange New Worlds three times, and I've watched the second episode twice already. I really, really like what they're doing with that show. Hey Elam, how's life on Terrace? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave Hyperdrive behind to keep you company? 
I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you because you might need it. Terrace isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. The strong box is the property of Elamatic. Access not permitted to unauthorized users. Please enter proper password responses to confirm identity. What is the name of your pet? Who taught you to fire a blaster? Where did your family originally come from? Identity not confirmed. Okay, so that was where family originally came from. Left for Tatooine to become a miner, right. Alderaan, okay. Hyperdrive, Uncle. Alderaan. Blaster pistol, Republic mod armor and a hundred credits. Oh, this is upgradable too. Haven't seen episode two yet. Looking for the password in Alderaan places. Wow. Wow. Well, I won't say anything about episode two then, Jim, but... It's, except that it's... I haven't been this excited about a Star Trek series in a very long time. I mean, I like all the new modern Trek shows. But even Picard, I haven't been this excited. Except for the final episode of Season 2. I was pretty excited about that one. But not just for a whole series in general. This one is really, really good. This is exactly what I've been wanting. You know, classic Trek-style storytelling with a modern visual style and... Ugh, it's just so good. Wait, where's our hideout? That's the hideout. There we are. Really? Even modded up, this Republic mod armor has worse defense? Okay. Okay. There we go. That's okay, though. It's all right. I think it might be time to attempt the military base again. I have to make sure I save right out of the gate.
Zerka Corporation is one of several galaxy-spanning companies. It has outposts on many worlds. Also, fun fact, it's still active during the time of the movies. Welcome back, Tagarung. I hope all went well. Why do I always keep running into the clinic instead of going where I need to actually go? Oh, actually... going on here? Hey, I recognize these men. They're Republic soldiers. You recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless... Unless you're a friend of the Republic. I'm a friend of the Republic. You can trust me. I, uh... I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. You have taken a great risk to care for these men. I wish we could aid you more. But you have my thanks. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. You know what? I think in all the times that I've played this game before, I've never actually opened that door. I don't recognize this. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Nice. Weird, they're creepy identical twins. Okay, that should be the apartments. Might be... I think Dia might be in this one. I'm gonna go look for her. See if we can convince her to talk again. Nope, that's the family. Nope. Nope, I guess not. Okay, that's fine. True Sith died out centuries ago. Sith and Sarah are not a species, but the followers of an ideal. So how's everyone's week been? I hope you've all had a good one. Three ninety-eight. Okay, so no more upgrades for T three.
Let's get another save in. Because this is going to definitely get ugly. And we're in, just like that. What can I do? What? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Come on, Bastila. Get a move on. You're a Jedi. You're supposed to be really fast. She really should have known in advance that we were going to need to be gathered. Hey, you can't come in here. This is a restricted area. You better tell me what you're doing or I'm going to hit the alarm. I'm here for a meeting. Don't worry. I know where I have to go. There you go. Have fun. I have lots of spikes this time. We should be good. Main barracks. Secondary barracks. Reception. Medical. Control center. Elevator. Disable assault droid shield. Open elevator. Armory. Hack sentry droids target filtering. Okay, I can't take them offline or the turrets, but I can upload schematics. finally get my level up. Okay, that's a fake out.
Oh, very nice. Very cool. Okay. Yes. Skill too low. Oh, crap. Skill too low. Can I disable it? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I have any need to do this? No, okay. So that's just an alternate way in, so I wasted a spike. What can I do? Hmm? Take that. Okay. Jawara bota ayu at tahunga chakanki dora kachiku ita hodonga topa da bungwa liagando dona no chuchut. Thank you, human. I do not know what you were doing inside this military base, but I am grateful. I must leave this place before the Sith discover I've escaped. If you're wise, you'll do the same. If the Sith capture you, I doubt anyone else will come by to set you free. Okay. Nope, not that. That's what we want. Take a look at some of the other doors we've got off here. Four computer spikes, not bad. Oh, that might actually be really good. That means I've got five spikes, and that should give me enough in theory that I can disable the turrets. Which would really, really improve my odds of survival. I think I might do that before we go wandering around any of these locations anymore. I wish it just left the terminal already accessed. Oh! Oh god! Oh! Ugh. Damn it! I forgot it scales the number of spikes you need by your skill level, which means I should have been using T3, because she can't afford it, and now he can't either, because it's going to take five, and I've only got four left. That's... 
That's that's some high grade bull crap right there, is what that is. Let's have a look at the map here. Armory, control center, and barracks are that way. Elevator, other barracks. Okay, let's go this way. Maybe I'll find some more spikes. My educated guess is that the turrets will be guarding the elevator. So I'll just make that the last place I go. Hopefully I'll find more spikes before I get there. Now we're suddenly in pretty bad shape, actually. Uh, it's a good thing we've got a fair number of med packs. Take turrets offline. Okay, so that's that room done. What can I do? Nothing more to loot in there. Allow T three. Oh, there were turrets in here too. What can I do? I'm here. Good job by uh, disabled those. That could have gotten messy. Beam splitter, ion rifle. Energy projector and disruptor rifle. A variety of grenades. Ooh, nice! Flamethrower. That's an upgrade for T3. <laughs> no dialogue options available. Okay. I guess they had to implement the turrets as a type of character. Oh, you sneaky sons of guns. Thank you. 
Okay, I think we're good there. Hey, Mr. Soggy Roman, how's it going? Security terminal, where's that? Can I do? I'm here. Oh, that's just going to be the same terminal system. Rusted Sentry? Uh, okay. I don't have a whole lot of repair parts. And I don't think I really need this one. But he would have helped make that fight a lot easier, I'm sure. It's a little weird that they didn't fix him themselves. But what can you do, right? Nobody? I'm here. What? The who? You mean... Oh, Sith Base Pass card. Nice. I didn't realize the who were still an active band. That's amazing. Okay, I guess that's it. Bastila is a frickin' lifesaver. The fact that she can heal us and does so autonomously is amazing. Holy crap. Thank you, Bastila. And I was right, there are turrets in the elevator too. Think it's only half of them? Yeah, well, even so. Need to go get food and head to bed soon, but wanted to come by and see how stream is here. So far, so good, Erinor. Are the captions working okay for you folks? I I don't think I actually needed confirmation, because I. the nice thing about this setup that you uh, pointed me to is that uh, I can actually see in OBS that the captions are indeed working, at least locally. I'm hoping they're working for you guys as well. And I hope they've got some good options for, uh, you know, fonts and things that you can use to make it, you know, as legible as possible. Yep, we're in the military base now, Mr. Sagi Roman. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait, I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a force adept could be found on this insignificant planet? 
but your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. Ah, so they're delusional even this far in the past. Turn away from the dark side, it won't lead you to anything but destruction. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. We Sith, however, have learned to embrace the potential of the dark side. It is what gives us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. That's a shame you're gonna die then. Good thing I saved. <laughs> okay, this is uh, actually not a terrible time for me to take a break anyway, so if you guys will bear with me, I'll be back in just a few minutes, and we'll see if we can use some of these adrenal alacrity and other boosters that we've got to give ourselves a little bit of an edge over this Sith Governor Phila when I get back. Thank you, Aranlar. Excellent. I appreciate it. I'll be back in three and a half to five or thereabouts. So creepy. Watch out for that. Oh my god, Serana. <laughs> I think we're going to use the Michael Bolton Doug trio here that we just evolved. It's all good. on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity, or boom her hair's adamant than enhancing the projectile is better. Why not both? Explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? Both? Both. Both. Both is good. That could work. That worked better than I thought. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! Nice. Wow. That was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Oh, you're one of ours. Never mind. Sorry about that. Hey. Uh 
Um, this is maybe not the best. Crap. <laughs> oh god, when was the last save? This could be really bad. It's made out of people. They are making food out of people and we know that. We are actually okay with that. Oh, wow. This game suddenly got so dark. Just hey, as soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. <laughs> Not a bad ragdoll, that one. Not bad. Maybe somebody was experimenting with cannons on the island or something. Whoa! What? 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 It's... Oh. <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, what? Please somebody clip that. Holy... Please. Yes, please uh. clip that! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, we're gonna be taking our first look. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. What? Hey, Gucci's. Nope, too fast. Darn. Oh, let me guess what that's gonna be. Oh. Hey, I was wrong. Okay, he was definitely no behemoth. I can't believe I killed it. Actually working tonight, but I'll leave a lurk. Probably be back later. No worries, Scott. Thank you so much again. It's really, really kind of you to recommend us like that. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh. That was... Ooh. Um. Thanks, Auto Drive. Crap. It's actually literally not going anywhere. Oh, okay, we're good. Okay, I'm back. And no, I never did finish Pokemon. That's still on the to-do list. That's way back here with Zelda, which I also still need to finish.
oh, I'm loading the wrong game. Why am I loading a game? I don't need to load a game. Thank you. Why did it boot me all the way out of the frickin' military base? Had I not saved the game inside? Bastila, what the hell? I'm actually really excited about Starfield not coming out this year. <laughs> oh my god. I have to redo all of this? I mean, I can probably do it better and not waste so many computer spikes, but still, that's annoying as hell. I only have five security spikes! I'm just gonna reload that one. Uh, let me verify how many spikes we have. Twenty-one spikes. Oh wait. Oh, apparently there's a difference between security and computer spikes. Okay. Yeah, I, I really want to see what they can do with Starfield with, you know, an extra half a year or so to polish it up and make it even better. So I am A-OK -okay with it being delayed. Delays mean a better product in the end. So bring it on. Do your thing. Take the time you need. Do it correctly. Now I have to wait for both of them. What the heck are you two up to? Get a move on, Hilara, my god. We have to put this into the lore of the library that Hilara's a bit of a slow runner. What can I do? I'm here. Okay. Deactivating shield.
Open elevator. Go. What the heck? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what happened to me there. What can I do? All right. Fine, if you don't need my help, just say so. Thank you.
Not bad. Whoops. That was a little bad. I'll wait till they have more spikes. Frag grenade. Okay. I don't know why I can't fight these guys sometimes. That's really weird. Was probably oh I have to redo this whole place again don't I <laughs> F5 what do you mean Mr. Soggy Roman I'm not playing on PC though, Mr. Soggy Roman. You guys are down. Which stats in particular, Mr. Soggy Roman? Might increase Bastila. Wisdom's not going to increase mine. There we go.
I'm gonna see if I can save in here. It seems to resist that, though. But I'm tired of redoing it. I'm just going to save a lot in this place, because I'm really tired of redoing it. Strength, dexterity, yeah. Well, I boosted my wisdom anyway, just because force powers will eventually require that. T3, you're using dual blasters. Why do you have to be point blank? There we go. There we go. What can I do? Heal would be good. What? Better, much better.
I forgot. Well, I guess I just saved myself some spikes. Although I would still like to shut down the things so that I don't have blaster fire intruding on that relatively tough battle with the giant assault droid. I could do without the extra heat. Safe travels, buddy. Is that it? Okay. offline. Strength is for melee attack rolls and dexterity is for ranged lightsabers used whichever is highest. Oh, that's what handy to do? know. What? have done more than enough to warrant another save here since we are coming up on the barracks and the elevator card also we're saving I'm just gonna overkill the saves Strength increases criticals while dexterity is stealth and reflex saves. Yeah. That makes Who sense. Dares? Who spoke this? 
Yeah, I think I should save after the assault droid. And, uh, this is where I'm really glad that I saved so much. We're gonna have to basically just be all pumped up and full of crap before we do this. I might as well do it before the droid battle. Okay, so we are going to... <clears throat> Hyper Battle Stimulant. Actually, let's have a look at these. What do they do? It's good to know what they do. Attack and damage plus two for two minutes. Vitality. <clears throat> Vitality max plus 16 points. Battle Stimulant. Adrenal strength, constitution, and dexterity. So these are the ones I want to use. Yeah, but you're speaking like a min-maxer, Mr. Soggy Roman. I don't play that way. You know this. I'll do a little bit of rough optimization, but I'm not going to go in and nitpick over every little bonus. That's boring. I don't play games to be boring. Who dares who the There we go. Taurus launch codes. 
Adrenaline Amplifier, Strength Gauntlets, Neural Band. And that's why I don't play this anymore. That's fair. That's fair. Durasteel Bonding Alloy. Oh my god, there's a lot of crap in here. Nice. Thank you. Ooh, 500 credits? Nice. Yes? Raid incoming. What Do the heck? Panic. Please report to welcoming shelters immediately. Seek help from Joduri, El, Talera, or other librarians as needed. Be ready to distribute library guards. Crystal Dragon! What the heck? Coming in with the raid. It's so good to see you. Attention, Library of Lore. We extend our warmest greetings to our latest follower. Eld will show you to a comfortable seat. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in, everybody. Crystal Dragon, it's so nice to have you here. It's so good to uh, see you and welcome your wonderful community over. Uh, my name is Gordon McLeod. If you've never been here before, I play a lot of narrative-heavy games with excellent character development. I also play a fair bit of strategy stuff, sandboxy stuff, and lately I've been diving into a little bit of retro RPGs and adventure games. This is a good example, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, so if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. If you've never been here before, I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. And while the video is rolling, Crystal, I hope, or uh, Crystal Dragon CD, um, I hope you... Uh, let me know how your stream went. I'd love to hear all about it. What were you up to this evening, and how did it go? Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... Uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, <laughs> Okay, that... I have not... I have not looted that, sir. It'll be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. Hello, my friend. So happy I could raid you and continue the Star Wars fun. Mentioned to those with me that you have been raising money for charity lately. Yes, this is a charity stream. Haven't been talking about it quite as much tonight because um, while the campaign is running all month, the incentives are based around Lego Star Wars instead of Knights of the Old Republic. But we do still have all of the stuff and I can always hold over a redemption if people really want it. Uh, that could potentially open up some weirdness if people all request conflicting ones, but we'll work it out somehow. It's all for fun and charity, so 
I don't think it really matters. I could just say, you know, if one person wants me to play as one character and then somebody else redeems a different character, I can do the one character type for half an hour and then switch to the other or something like that. We'll work it out, whatever it is. So I think that should be okay. I'm here. I just finished a boss battle in the military base on Taurus. So I think things are gearing up now for a clearing of the way that we can actually get off this planet sometime soon-ish. It's going to make me run all the way out of here, isn't it? We'll see when I get out of here. Yep, I have to run all the way out. Oh well, that's okay. It's not going to take too long anyway. I mean, I guess technically, no, it probably wouldn't allow me to just skip out using the map, would it? That seems like that might be a little cheaty. You just finished the story for Fallen Order. That was such a great game. Man, I love that. About time for level two. I so enjoyed the Vader encounter and the fights at the end of the story. It was great fun. It really was. That was a joy to play. I played that when it was brand new. Now we have to go back down to the lower city. Not the undercity, the lower city. The game is two years old, Mr. Soggy Ramen, and I streamed it on this very channel. I don't know. I'm, I'm not too concerned about spoilers. Besides, not, nothing of the story was spoiled, so it's fine. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it is you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base and right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. Okay, let's join up. But how are we going to get me inside Davik's estate? Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race. Mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Kandor has joined your party. <clears throat> Kandor has a special cybernetic implant that regenerates minor wounds. Oh, I guess we're not doing the uh, the dual arena thing then. That's fine. I honestly don't care that much. Would have been nice. There's probably an achievement or something for it. Actually, I don't think Nintendo does achievements, do they? That is a fancy design for the ship. I like it quite a lot. That's really cool. Looks like a space shark. Katie Peters would love it. The leveling at the end made the fighting super fun. Yeah, it really did. You summoned me, Lord Malak. 
the search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malik. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. Mm. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. You know, Candorus was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the Exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me, Davik. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately... The Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. I believe I've got those codes, don't I? These will be your accommodations. I really appreciate it, Crystal. I hope uh, uh, Fallen Order went really stay, well for you. Food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Units of distance. Well, that's no good, then. That's not impressive. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Oh, 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 Candorus levels up. We are going to do... Oh, that's a class skill for him. Might as well do that then. Okay. It sure did. I had moments where I got stuck unsure where to go. Yeah, that will happen. Nothing too major. I wholeheartedly call the game a success and very fun. What, uh... I rarely ask this question, but I'm very curious about the um, Fallen Order in particular. What difficulty level did you play the game on? Because difficulty tends not to matter to me at all. But I actually found 
that I really enjoyed the game, even on higher difficulty levels. Like, I completed it Jedi Knight, and I played a fair bit of the beginning of the game on Jedi Master as well. Or wait, is it... Does it go Jedi Knight, Jedi Master, Jedi Grandmaster? Because if that's the case, then... I played on Jedi Master and played some on Grandmaster. I don't know, it, it's been a year or two, so it's been a while. Um... Oh, he's already got specialization in heavy weapons. Candorus is kind of your prototypical tough guy. Let's do some of that. He really needs more awareness. And I can't do that to level 8. That, there we go. Yes? Hmm? Low security door. Okay, so that's out to where we came from. On it. Hey! What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. Kudu, Tuni Rama na praka donko tsercha chupa panki. Hey, baby, wait. I, I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night. So you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Hey, she teleported. No need to call the guards. I just got lost. Uh uh. No way. You're not getting out of the. <laughs> Okay. Who did we have to kill out here? Oh, I, I, I guess we're kind of on the outs then. It was pretty much a given that we were going to end up fighting our way out of here anyway. The lowest just because I didn't want to hold up things repeating fights on stream too much. But to be fair, it was a good challenge for me. That's... On it. That's fair. Done. The best part about the game, as far as I'm concerned, is the story. Like I said, I actually play most games on easier difficulty Done. levels myself. Just because I'm not the kind of player that's normally too interested in the challenge factor at all. And for the same reason, I don't really like taking up too much time on stream repeating stuff. That's why when we were... That's why in the military base I was saving so frequently and I should probably... Okay, we didn't have to kill him. Uh, I should probably save the game a little more often in here, too, actually. Probably not the worst idea ever. Oh! I clearly need a break. I just loaded instead of saved. That's one way to ruin a blind date. Hey, Vicious, how's it going? So, Candorous, I snap. You know, can ah. Excuse me while I just skim through this real fast. These'll be. Oh, 
Okay, we're inside. More interested in story more often myself and when on stream I feel it's best for story flow. It really is. It really, really is. Okay. At least we didn't lose too much. We're going to do... Awareness. And what did I do with this? Actually, let's do conditioning. That's probably better. I'm here. What? Let's not load the game this time. We're going to save the game this time. Very important. There. Now we'll murder this guy. On it. Hey! What? Kudu. Hey, Uh-uh. I like the implied m m reasoning here that the guards can't squeal to the boss if they're dead. Just shopping for a new AC. It appears the heat has come early to Minneapolis and our old one just kicked the proverbial bucket. Yep. It's starting to warm up a bit here too. Come on. That's better. I didn't even check the footlocker in my own room. Wow. Okay, there we go. On it. Done. It sure came early to Montreal. You broke 30. My area hasn't gotten to 30 yet, but it has gotten pretty darn close. On it. Done. On it. Done. Just want to ask you some questions. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna loot your place, don't mind me. Thank you. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, but... Perhaps one of the male slaves could serve your needs better. Wow, you can really tell this is one of the earlier Bioware games. That would definitely not have stopped them later on. It's been 35 Celsius here the last few days? Yuck. That is gross. And it feels even grosser just because it was only a few days ago that I was still getting temperatures that were really, really, really close to freezing. Have I asked if you plan on doing KOTOR 2 afterwards? I would dearly love to do KOTOR 2 afterwards, but unfortunately it has not been ported to Switch. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean I can't do it, but we have to see. I need to experiment a little bit and see if it runs on PC better than KOTOR 1 does. So, to be determined. 
I'm going to take my break now, though. I'm running a little bit late for it. So if you guys don't mind, I will be back in just a few minutes. I need to get up and move around some as I try to do every hour or thereabouts. So if you need to get up yourselves and get some food or a drink, a snack, use the facilities, whatever you got to do, this is a really good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here in just a bit. Just realized I have not even started using bombs yet, and it's already almost gone. I don't put much stock in songs and deeds, but that battle was a verse worth singing. Holy crap. Now, Aloy, the door. I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. What's a little casual arson between friends? Ah! <laughs> you picked a very good time to show up again, Uthgur. Thank you. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character Library with the potential for a few more a sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. Channel. Elds, please prepare Skull. a seat for our guest. Mm. 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 Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... Gotcha. Now watch a courier show up again. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh... <laughs> um... That's not good. <laughs> we will have a nice new feature in town soon, it's true. Achievement unlocked. It's heading right for us. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, you weren't kidding. That is actually a pretty attractive crater. Whoops. What? I've always kind of just thought that maybe it's um, another term for fast travel. Oh my god. Okay. It is another word for fast travel, but with altitude. Got it. I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. as I was hoping it might. <laughs> ah! 
Would be funny if he came here on his break and. There we go. Okay. Where did we leave off? We're at a new hallway. Actually, let's get a look at the overall map here instead of wandering aimlessly. So the Evan Hawk is down there. We're not entirely sure how to go, but I'm going to guess that this is the path. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Roman. Nine spikes to disable hangar security? Crap. I'm just gonna grab the... Yeah, okay. Wow. It's kind of a shame I didn't have T3 with me. But we should have the map now. I was right. This is actually the fastest way to get there. Barracks. <laughs> Guest room. Barracks. Barracks. Spice lab. I should maybe try looting the spice lab. This way to the spice lab, everybody. When you need to decisively end the fight. That's it? Oh, this is officially one of the charity streams. It's just not one that's got incentives associated with it, that's all. The entire month is official charity raising stream. Fundraising has been going pretty good, I mean... I thought it was going to take an awful lot longer to get this close to reaching the goal. We're not even halfway through. So, I can't be even remotely disappointed with how things have gone. It's just been phenomenal. Uh, 
are we doing health wise? Not bad, not bad. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. I don't work for Davik, you overinflated windbag. Well, I suppose I can forgive the intrusion in this case. Tell Davik I admire a host who has his underlings check up on the well-being and comfort of his guests. I don't require anything right now. You can tell Davik everything about my stay has been most pleasing so far. Here's a five-credit chip for your trouble, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, on back to Davik. If I find I have need of anything, I'll buzz you. Until then, I expect you to respect my privacy. Hope you don't mind if I loot your room. Been rooting for it to do well and spreading the word as much as I can. You are way too... Oh my god, that was a lot of credits. Uh, you are way too kind. I really appreciate it. for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway, but I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You oh. can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. You do that, sir. Of course. We've got what we came for. We should get going. Getting out of the base without being in a ship at the time seems like it might be a little futile. Though, nobody here would actually know that. This way. Right, and it was here. This seems like an excellent time to save since I wasn't really able to shut down the security in the hangar. You need to find a computer panel to disable the security system on this door. Damn. I hope I've got enough spikes. That could be a bit of a problem. I've got eight security spikes, but no computer spikes. If I may have your attention for a moment. A multi-year subscriber has just resubbed again. Allow me to welcome you back. Renamar, it's so good to see you. How are things going? I have no computer spikes whatsoever. 
Oh. Use access card. Gas? Oh, man. I need spikes to do it. Oh, well. Where's the storage room? I feel like we need to go there. Okay. Guest room, hangar. I don't really see the security. How are things going around Amar? I can't believe it's been freaking 59 months. That's crazy. What has happened to time? And what happened to storage? I don't even see that on the map. Huh. Well, okay. I guess we're not going there. Damn no Sith. They're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or later. Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. All right, let me see. I know when you buy subs, Google Play cards can be used for that with Twitch. Can they be for donations to your cause as well, or must that be through credit card? Uh, it's completely separate from Twitch. It's not run through Twitch whatsoever. So you would have to look at what the options are on Tiltify, which is the, uh, the donation service that I use. I don't actually know off the top of my head what they accept in terms of payments. I assume it's credit card, but they might be open to other methods as well. Um, I will make a point of finding out because, I mean, I've been using Tiltify for years. That's really something I should probably be aware of. So I will make sure I find out. I might even see if I can figure it out next time I go on break because that's an excellent question. But uh, you can find out for yourself if you go through the Tiltify page. Don't worry if you can't, though. You raided. I mean, you, you're hosting. You're bringing your people over. You're hanging out here in chat. You're talking. You're supporting more than enough. It's it's totally fine if they're not doing the credit card thing or the non-credit card thing. I think you were the first streamer I've subscribed to. I do seem to remember something about that way back in the day, Renamar. So I've been on Twitch a bit longer than that. Yeah, I actually... How long have I been on Twitch? My account is older than Twitch itself because it originated as a Justin TV account. So I think it goes back... I want to say to 2011 or maybe even 2009. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a long time, though. Okay, I'm going to attack... Davik. Oh, shoot. How did he take out Bastila? Shenanigans, I call. It's a good thing I saved. Wow. I think we're going to have to buff up again. It looks like they take PayPal, Amazon Pay, the giving block. I've never heard of that one in credit card. Oh, so there you go. You might be able to use PayPal then.
So we're going to have to redo the opening up of the security on the door, but that's not a big deal. Okay, I'm definitely going to heal up some. Good. Depending on the type, sure. Okay, let's see. Adrenal strength. Stamina. Alacrity. What? I'm here. Ah, uh, crypto. Okay. Thieves and a hangar. Oh, block. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You just the blockchain. Steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. We'll leave Let's your corpse instead. Down. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs dead drop and we'll kill us all. What? How is... Oh my god. You have no business taking out a Jedi that easily, sir. I'm going to save the game after doing all the security stuff again. Maybe even after doing all the upgrade stuff. Holy crap, this is a tougher battle than I thought it would be. I mean, I figured it was going to be fairly tough, but this is worse than the boss battle in the military base. A phoenix down? Yeah. Phoenix down, definitely. I'll, I'll make a point of that. He did vicious. I mean, you gotta wonder why he needs a bodyguard. Okay. Huh? What can I do? Give this a try.
No, yes, no more shields what? for him. Okay, that's fine. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm not sure what else she used, but that's fine. you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. You're awfully calm saying that, sir. <laughs> Quick, loot the body. Arcanian energy shield, Davix war suit, Davix visor. Speaking of loot, anything in the containers? We have to rescue as much loot as possible. No? Okay. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. What? No! 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 Ah, that's so rude. Ugh. Okay. At least I do have a very recent save. And I know that I can just focus all of my efforts on K Davik himself. Okay. Yep, basically vicious. Basically. turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and we'll kill us all. Okay. Everything on him. Yeah. 
Hey, that was easy. Down, and taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. I'm glad he gave us time to run away. I have a link in my panels below the video crystal. It's linked down there. Okay, let's get the stuff. Oh, we can't loot Kalonord. That's unfortunate. Alright, well... Just in case. Uh, you can also do, I think it's exclamation point donation in chat, and that should also bring it up, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends, and then we'll have to get off this planet. Okay. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. So much for all the people we helped. You know, for the age of this game, the cinematics look really good. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Wow, vicious. This is not quite as nice as the combat in LEGO Star Wars. 
Yay. Oh, good. Well, we get to enjoy the nice cinematics again. Every shot we fire is the equivalent to the yearly income of a third world planet. Fire everything. This just in the Sith that filed for bankruptcy. I don't think that's true for the Sith. Attention. Incoming raid. Holy crap. Please report to hospitality stations in a calm and orderly fashion. El Talera, Joduri, and other librarians will aid as need be. Please be ready to disperse library cards. Actually, Manny, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. What's going on this evening? It's so nice to see you. We just got destroyed in co space combat uh, the first time we've attempted it in this game. Uh, hope your stream went a little bit better than that did. Uh, how are you doing? What were you playing this evening? Let me get you a shout out, Manny. Guys, if you do not know actually Manny, she's a wonderful streamer. I've been, uh, I, I've, I've known her on Twitch for, oh, thank you very much, Tagarong. I appreciate that. Oh, Spiritfarer. How is Spiritfarer going? How far in are you? I streamed that once. I never got back to it, but it was a beautiful game. I really, really enjoyed it. One of these days, I'm going to try another playthrough and actually get, you know, maybe to the end of the actual story. I think that would be a fun thing to do. But it's so good to have you here. Uh, if you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of story-driven games with excellent narrative and character development, as well as a lot of strategy and sandboxy games. Lately, I've also been doing retro games, uh, especially retro RPGs and adventure games. So if any of that sounds good to you, feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a bit of a video to welcome you in properly as well. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, <laughs> Okay, that... Let's go for it. Oh. Whoa. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. It'll be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Genuine article. That would be a great name for a nude site. Need to Google something. No problem, Mr. Soggy Roman. Have a good night, Tagarong. Thank you for all your help this evening. I really appreciate it. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Wow, Mr. Soggy Roman. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. 
The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Okay, here's the part that killed me. I have to man a turret on board my ship and defend us. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters. And apparently I'm not very good Quickly, with this particular this turret. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. I wonder if I can save right at the start. Cross your fingers. Nope. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a few of them though. This is really not helping. They weren't rebels, though. They're Jedi. And this was thousands of years before. There's no empire to rebel against at the moment. Well, there's the Sith Empire. But that's a different empire. Anytime you want to punch the hyperdrive, wow. Dantooine. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. 
Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. Okay. You know, I really can't wait to see what the remake version of this game is going to do with the Ebon Hawk. That's going to be so freaking cool. I can't wait to see the new model. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Until you have talked with the Jedi Council, you will be unable to switch characters in and out of the party. Okay. Well, let's go talk to the Jedi Council. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take my break before we talk to the Jedi Council because I'm not sure how long that conversation lasts and I'm already slightly on the late side. Talk to the hand, Karth. Wow. All right, guys, I'm going to get up and move around a little bit. So if you need to get up yourself and get a snack or a drink, use the facilities, whatever you got to do. This is a really good opportunity to do it. And I'll be right back in about three and a half to five minutes or so. Wait. Can I not fly it? Look, you may be our captain, but I don't have to like it. What? What? Please give a warm welcome to our new captain. They boost their way onto our ship and into our hearts. <laughs> What? This is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> what the? This is a whole new area to explore. <laughs> hey, Gucci's. That's camera mode. That's not at all what I wanted. Although... <laughs> well... That... Was not what I wanted, but it worked out pretty well. Where the hell did he come from? Hey. Um, this is maybe not the best crap. <laughs> oh god, when was the last save? This could be really bad. <laughs> hey guys, yeah, yeah, drop, yeah, the yeah, drop the anchor. Drop the anchor! I'm not, I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor. No. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did, did somebody drop the anchor finally? Or? Drop <laughs> the freaking anchor, thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, um, <laughs> now oh, okay. so we get a clip of that one. Spot it. Gotta move. Oh, you jerk. 
You want to play with plasma? I'll show you how to play with plasma. That's how you play with plasma. Supercharge boost. Excellent. Okay. Maybe. Oh. What do you like to do for fun? Whatever's next. That's what's fun. That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that? My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber, you are glue. I Got give up. You win. Yes. Okay, I'm back. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I have heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Apparently it already is. Thank you. So you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vruk, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. She's a Padawan, though I no, that 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 can't be right. That's ridiculous. Isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the Council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Aren't I a little old for training? Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force. Thank you, Space. Before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this woman. And I have already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, 
can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. And here's our next dream sequence. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? You got it. Okay. We're taking Karth, and what the heck? We'll take Mission. We haven't traveled with her in a little while. Ah, uh, they both get to level. Attention, library guests. We what? just received a donation to our St. Jude Play Live 2022 campaign. Thank you so much. Crystal Dragon, thank you so heckin' much for the donation to the St. Jude... <laughs> I'm getting tired already. Uh, the St. Jude Play Live charity campaign. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to request... Um, let me actually see. Uh, where are we? I need to check if you did request a thing. Oh, you did, you did. What is it? Play as anyone. Excellent. I will hold that in reserve. So that will be great. I will pocket that one for when I need it. Thank you, Crystal Dragon. That is awesome. Okay. Karth is primarily a ranged fighter in my play. So we're going to give him a boost to his dexterity. Skills... Gonna bump his awareness. He's not half bad with a sword, too, though. Maybe I should give him blaster rifle as well. Sneak attack four. I'm here. 
Mission seems rather distant. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's... it's... it's just gone. That's not a little, Crystal Dragon. That makes so much more of a difference than you'd believe. $30 is a hefty donation, and I really, really appreciate it, and I know the kids of St. Jude also appreciate it greatly. You wouldn't believe the amount of stuff that will actually do for them. Malik will pay for what he did, Mission. Yeah, I know. The Jedi got rid of Revan, so I figure Malik's days are number two. But that doesn't make the pain go away, you know? Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just... It's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. All right. Good to know, Mission. Excellent. of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. I am having visions now? You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student. But rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. Are you saying I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. Well, do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? I appreciate it so much, Crystal. Have a great night, and I will catch you again soon. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. Jedi are turning to the dark side? The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted, and perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. I am ready now. I accept this mission. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you are willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to 
fail. As you wish. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. And your progress, amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. <laughs> Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. It seems so weird knowing what we know about the Jedi these days that a Padawan should not actually be an apprentice. What must I do to prove myself? I want to ask some questions, Master Jar. Questions about Revan and Malik. Few mention those names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But I perceived the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil, one I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson, but to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. I thought Several he sounded familiar, ago, Great Red When Shark. the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat, the Council feared, had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed, many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from the Mandalorian threat. What happened to this noble mission? They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan Malak and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted. Their spirits were tainted, and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this, a lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. You have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. Okay. Training computer. Welcome, Sentient. It is important for the peace and harmony of all beings that the many paths of the Jedi Order be understood. Only through knowledge can all see the truth of the Force. I haven't seen Moon Knight yet. I'm actually... I don't know. I'll probably give it a shot at some point. I haven't been in a giant rush. I remember F. Murray Abraham 
from uh, one of the Star Trek movies, best of all. Jedi Guardians battle against the forces of evil in the dark side. They focus on combat training and masterful use of the lightsaber. Basic class attributes, 10 vitality per level, 4 force points per level, slow skill progression, fast feet progression. Tell me more about the Jedi Consular. Oh, Jedi Guardians gain the force jump feat automatically. The feat allows them to instantly close the distance and attack an opponent within 10 meters. Jedi Consulars seek to bring balance to the universe. They focus less on physical, physical combat and more on mental disciplines in order to augment their mastery of the Force. Consulars gain the Force Focus feat automatically. That makes it harder for opponents to resist their Force powers. Sentinels ferret out deceit and injustice, bringing them to light. They strike a balance between the physical and mental disciplines of the Jedi Order. Hmm. Okay. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Got nothing else to do. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy in the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations. You must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. I am ready for the tests. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Seek out notes. Got it. Okay. So we'll go explore around here. Greetings. Soon he feels oh. you will attain the rank of Padawan. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? Didn't mean to skip past that. With power comes responsibility. And only by learning discipline and sacrifice can we truly learn to master our potential. I wish yeah, it's pretty unusual, practice. Vikings. There is much you must yet learn. May the Force be with you. Some really impressive actors as well, and surprising choices. Jedi droid. The council has decreed you must not leave the enclave. Please return to your room. What are you gonna do about it, droid? I seem to remember there's a whole bunch of people who have been in Star Trek before in this game, including F. Murray Abraham, but also, um. Oh, damn it. Uh, I can't remember the actor's name, but. He played Neelix on Voyager. He should actually be somewhere here on Dantooine, if I'm not mistaken. Probably not an area that I can access right away. <laughs> Greetings, Sentient. May I take a moment of your time for a question? I represent a human citizen of Dantooine by the name of Rundil Atsulem. His ranch has had considerable difficulty with Mandalorian raiders for many years. His young daughter was kidnapped by those raiders many years ago and has not been returned. Might you have news of her? Her name is Sasha. Nope, sorry. That is too bad. I shall have to continue my search. Are problems with Mandalorians common on Dantooine? I understand they are, though I know little of the history behind this conflict. Someone native to this planet could tell you more. 
Isn't this something the local authorities should handle? Dantooine has little in the way of local authority, Senshin. I asked the Jedi of the Enclave to intervene, but they have far more pressing concerns to attend to. As is often the way on this planet, if a citizen wishes to accomplish something, they must seek to do it themselves. Is there anything of interest on Dantooine that you can tell me about? There is no large urban center on Dantooine, if that is what interests you. I find the variety and number of natural habitats to be most intriguing, however. If you get the chance, I would urge you to explore the planet's ranges in more detail. They are quite beautiful. Okay. What else can we do around here? We have a security droid. We have a fake door. We have some apparently dead trees. Or maybe dormant. We have another fake door. Achuta. You must be the one I've been hearing about, the new recruit, as it were. Halera, I think they said. Another fresh-faced apprentice ready to leap into Jedi training with both feet. Well, best of luck to you is all I can say about that. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Kratis Yurkal, proprietor of the general store here on Dantooine. Not much to look at now, I'll admit, but I'm in on the ground floor. I mean, look at this planet. Majestic fields, rolling plains, wide open terra firma, elbow room. That's what people want. Once word gets out, we'll have settlers and tourists from the Galactic Corps just dying to come here. And guess who'll be waiting for them? Not that blasted Zerka Corp, that's for sure. Not this time, no sir. This time, it'll be Kratis Yurkel who makes the big bucks. But listen to me. You didn't come here to listen to my ramblings on the evils of the Zerka Corp, I'll bet. What can I do for you? I'd love to see what you have for sale. Excellent. As always, my selection is somewhat limited. Zerka Corp has a monopoly on some of the suppliers. But I'm sure you'll find all my inventories of the highest quality. And I've got a few special items you won't find anywhere else. Sanasiki's Blade. That actually looks like a pretty badass sword. Jurgen Kalta's Assault Rifle. Stealth Field Reinforcement. Interface Band. Breath Mask, Immunity from Poison. Infiltrator Gloves. Oh man, that's a pretty good one. CNS Strength Enhancer. Calrissian's Utility Belt? I love it. Galdoran Calrissian's name was something of a liability after he became infamous for running an unsanctioned smuggling ring within Hut space. Eventually cornered, he had to pawn even his personal items to avoid being the last Calrissian. The user must have paid points into the demolitions and security skills to gain the respective benefits from this belt. I kind of feel like I need to buy this, except I can't afford it right now. Oof. Infiltrator Glows. 7,000? I don't think I'm getting that either. Well, thanks anyway, sir. I greet you, Apprentice Jedi. Master Jar has informed me that your training is progressing most rapidly. I am honored to have such a promising pupil in my shop. How may I serve you? Explore my inventory at your convenience. Settler families have purchased all my droids, but I have many upgrades and other wares for purchase. Hmm. What's the Type 3 plating? That's actually pretty cheap. Uh, it doesn't look like he's got a whole lot that I need right now. No, 
Nope, that's another fake door. Um, I was looking for information on the Jedi Code. Welcome to the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine. I do not believe we know each other. My name is Disra Lur Jada. You may call me Disra. You must be the new apprentice Master Jar is training. I hear you are progressing at an astonishing rate. How are you finding your lessons? It's difficult, but worthwhile. The lessons we learn at the feet of our masters teach us how to use the Force for good. They show us the power of the light side and protect us from the dark. Okay, no hints on the Jedi Code, huh? Do I have to go find this all out for myself? Okay, okay, no leaving the Enclave, got it. I haven't seen you around here before. I'm a traveler in search of a little entertainment. Care to have a hand of Pazak with me? No, thank you. No. I'm not about Pazak. I am about loot. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. Wow. Okay. I guess I could talk to the council members. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. I seek knowledge of the Jedi Code. All Jedi must know the Code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. Think and meditate on these truths, apprentice. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. Knowledge of the Code will lead you to the rank of Padawan, and knowledge of the Order and its history will guide you down the path of the Light. Of course, I could not tell you the entire history of our Order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with the War of Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side and led an army against the Jedi and the Republic. Exar Kun was defeated, but the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years, we struggled to rebuild, trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. What does this have to do with Revan and Malak? All things in time. You shall learn that history is an intricate weaving of many events. No one thing can be understood without the proper context. Twenty years ago, 
the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. They were careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. But we ended up in a war anyway. The Mandalorians stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. Did the Jedi join in? The Republic petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict so soon after the war with Exar Kun. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause, and against the wishes of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader, and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. How did Revan fall to the dark side? Where did... Oh, uh, even better question. Where did the Sith come from? Revan and Malak were heroes, the great saviors of the Republic. A third of the Republic fleet was under their direct command. And then something happened. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. Perhaps they simply went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Three years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Where did Revan get the ships for the Sith fleet? Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien design we've never seen before. The source of this massive fleet is one of the many things about the Sith we cannot explain. It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, the bulk of the force were former Republic soldiers who had served under Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. For two years, the Sith were all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan, as you probably know. She was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. What can I learn from Revan's history? Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. I will think on this. May the Force be with you. Okay. I love the lore in this game. It's so good. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? I am ready to continue my training. 
Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy in the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations. You must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. That is not correct, Apprentice. What? Perhaps you are not yet ready for this challenge. There is no shame in admitting weakness. Return when you... Greet. Okay, I'm gonna skip through. These tests... There is no emotion. I thought I knew this better than that. Wow. Um... That is not... There is... Greeting. Soon in the... These tests... There is no emotion. Okay, so it's not harmony. It's not not serenity. Um... That is not. Okay, clearly I have to go ask again. Wow, I thought I knew the code reasonably well. Greetings, young up as cro you. Revens. This facility is a training academy. The pursuit of not you should. Okay. Revan. May the four. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave when you should be busy studying your lessons. I seek knowledge of the Jedi Code. You do not know the Jedi Code? Without knowledge of those doctrines, all your training will be for naught. All Jedi must know the Code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. There's Less no scolding, emotion. more teaching. There's peace. There's no ignorance. There's knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. Learn these truths, Apprentice, or we shall all regret the decision to accept you into the Order. Okay. It seems obvious enough now, but apparently it's easy to forget. Go figure. Greetings, my young Soon in the tri the fur you must there is There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the force. You have learned your studies well, apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi, the very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct her lightsaber with her own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. I can't believe that's not the third test. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. 
The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. I'll probably go Consular. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Help them flee. Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Yes, I suspected as much. Now, for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? I am Knock. beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. Wow. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Hunt them down, try to lure them in, out into a trap. Coordinate with the planetary government to identify the infiltrators. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Consular. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Here is a green crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again and he will instruct you on how to construct it. Okay. Jedi Consular level 9. Persuade is now a class skill. Excellent. Weapon proficiency lightsaber. Jedi defense. Force focus. Jedi sense. Force sensitive. I think technically I probably should have had force sensitivity before. I might give myself two weapon fighting. I don't know if I'm going to go two saber, but I should at least be familiar with it. Um, two remaining powers. I'm going to take that saber throw and burst of speed. Oh, mission also levels. That's interesting. Only the main character can level the persuade skill. Okay. Does she have proficiency with blaster rifles? Yes, she does. Let's get a bonus to that. Hmm? Uh huh. Yeah? What? Thanks for the host. What the heck? Rhubarb, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. How are you doing, Rhubarb? It's so good to see you. Welcome on in, everybody. Uh, folks, if you're not already following Rhubarb, make sure you go give a follow. It, uh, sorry, folks, I'm getting a bit tired. It's uh, 
a little bit after my normal end time, so I'm a little bit tired, but I'm going to keep going because we're in a really pivotal part of the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic game. But it's so good to see you and so good to have your community over here. Welcome on in, everyone. If you've never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of character-driven games with really good narrative, and I also play strategy games, sandboxy games. Lately, I've been doing more and more retro RPGs and adventure games, such as Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, for example. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly as well. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... Uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, <laughs> Okay, that... I have not... I have not looted that, sir. It'll be coming, actually. It's a little Attention, bit of a library guests. <laughs> We've just received a donation to our St. Jude Play Live 2022 oh. campaign. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's a repeat of an earlier donation. Thank you again, Crystal. I know Crystal's already gone, but it was appreciated. Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. How are you doing? What were you up to this evening? Let me get you a shout out. Elden Ring. Oh my god, Elden Ring. How is Elden Ring treating you, Rhubarb? Yep, Aberrant. I'm usually on around this time. I actually, I schedule my end time to be 4 a.m., but I frequently go later than that. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. That's the purpose of the workbench here, I suppose. We were doing some cheeky little Elden Ring with the community. It was so much fun. Oh, that's awesome, Rhubarb. Green. Okay. Very cool. All right. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. It is a rumor only. I do not know if there's any truth in it. But you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. 
Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I most certainly am. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. The Cathounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. I believe I remember this, actually. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. I love that game None a lot, and it's so Jedi good with friends. That's awesome, Rhubarb. Task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the Force be with you. Every once in a while I find myself wondering if I might be interested in playing some of the Souls games. I have them all for PC, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I, I'm unsold on the concept, but we'll see. Never say never. The closest I've come, Aburnt, is a game we were actually talking about earlier in stream. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Which isn't really a Souls-like game. In truth. But it's... Uh, it's, it's a little bit Souls-like when you go... And... Increase the difficulty up to the highest level then it starts resembling the Souls games a bit more. I'm trying to remember how you get out of here. I think this is where the droid stopped me. The council has decreed you may come and go as you please. Excellent, thank you very much. If it's not for you, then you'll def not get along with it, and that's totally okay. Yeah. Oh, same love Fallen Order? Yeah, Fallen Order is amazing. Yeah, Fallen Order 2 was confirmed, and I think they even revealed the name of it earlier today, although I'm not sure how confirmed that part is. Hey there, what can I do for you? I want to talk to you about your brother. I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. Why do you hate her so much? My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay, until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. Have a good night, Aburn. Thank you so much for uh, stopping in. I really appreciate it. I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. I saw Lena for what she really was. A busty, credit-grubbing cantina rat. She used Griff and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. How is this Lena's fault? Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff but good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. 
But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Do you know anything about the planet we're on? I'm not the one you should ask about Dantooine. I didn't even know there was a Jedi Academy here. I always thought it was just a bunch of settlers and farmers. Sorry I can't be more help, you know. Is there anything else I can do for you? Nope, we're good. Okay, have it your way. Usually do. Nemo. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Good news, we found him. Indeed. What is it you would like from me? What do you know of the Tainted Grove? The Council has told you nothing of the Grove? Then it would not be my place to explain its significance. But as the light side can be embodied in living beings, so can the dark. The grove can be found to the south and east in the plains. But be wary of cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something else I can help you with? I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Thank you, sir. South, huh? I think we're going the wrong way already. But we do have to get out of here. Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. I will give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. That's really not what the Jedi are all about, sir. Ah, uh, yes, you are a Jedi. I am grateful that your people harbor me in my times of need. What happened to you? I am a victim, a refugee, yes. I flee. Fled from my world once the Sith fleet comes. They bomb my world, destroy it, yes. They scour the continents, boil the oceans. Sith are bad, yes. But I run here, find the Jedi already here, unknown. They take me in. Oof, these guys talk quickly. Nope. Okay. Wow. Very quick talker. Alright. I think we go across this bridge over here and we get out of here. I like the kind of inset into the ground look they've got going on here. It's distinctive and very interesting. Elise, what's up? Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion, you see? Your companion? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? It is possible. Does anyone hold a grudge against him? Not that I know of. Um, none of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Did someone break it down? No. The door was undamaged and showed no signs of tampering. Could it have been opened from the inside? Well, 
Yes, it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming. Programming. Well, yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? <laughs> Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. I will help you find your droid. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. Okay. Sock puppet hounds. Press A to activate a hostile force power selected in the third icon of the action menu. Some force powers will only affect a single target, others affect all enemies within a specified range of the target. Nice. This character build is working so much better with the saber. Oh, we didn't even talk to this guy. Adam Larp. Greetings, fellow sentient. I notice that you are not heavily armed, or at least not heavily armed enough. Please allow myself to introduce myself. I am Adam, a simple merchant with a much noble purpose. Yes, purpose. The settlers and noble humans of Dantooine have been plagued by Cathounds, raiders, and other fearsome troubles of late. It is much, much too sad to see these things happen to such people as this. Therefore, I have made this my mission to be. You're trying to sell me something, aren't you? To overcome their troubles, they must be able to defend themselves. Therefore, I shall offer the highest of quality weapons at the lowest of low prices for them. I am here offering you much in the way of weaponry at low, low prices. How can any sentient pass up such a bargain? They cannot. Weaponry it is, and weaponry I have. What is it you would like from me this fine day? Okay, what have you got? Lots of stuff. I Oh, Cassus Fett. Wow. Django's ancestor, I guess. Yeah, I definitely can't afford that. I would really like to get some of that armor. Cass's Fett's armor would be pretty awesome. We're gonna go this way. Oh. We're gonna keep exploring this map. bit of damage. Better. You 
the ram things. They look like some of the monsters in Fallen Order, actually. Oh, I actually died. That's unfortunate. here. Now, I'm not actually... Uh, I think I might be out of the advanced med kits. That droid must have been remarkable. Remind me to make sure I get the healing ability in the force. Uh-oh. Strange ruins. I wish we had Bastila back in the party. But I guess we're probably not allowed to have her when Ready. we're on our mission. Because she's a Jedi and would be of far too much assistance. The heavy stone door is sealed. The door is too thick to be cut through with a lightsaber. Nope, okay. Tale grounds. Barely did it. Huh? I'm here. 
Thinking this is maybe not a bad time to save again. I was doing pretty good on my mission to save frequently, and then I just kind of stopped. still have the ability ah yes we can return to the ebon hawk the way we used to return to our room mission is that you it's me lena remember i was dating your brother back on terrace lena what are you doing here where's griff i'm just passing through Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat. Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off. <laughs> Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Mission gets a little worked up when it comes to her brother. Yeah, I know how she feels. Griff can be pretty frustrating. I guess that's why Mission didn't want to come with us when we left Terrace. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Maybe he thought you were better off on Terrace mission. Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me too, as soon as I ran out of money. He started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. I'd like to hear Griff's side of things before I judge him. So where is Griff now? Let's go with that. That seems like the best... You know, the best way to resolve both missions and her stories here. Still on Tatooine as far as I know. Not that I really care anymore. And if Mission was smart, she'd forget about that no-good con artist. Griff is my brother. I just can't pretend he doesn't exist. If he was here to defend himself, Lena wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. <sighs> hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table dancing, brother stealing, home wrecker. <sighs> I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Well, that was unexpected. That's kind of cool. I mean, not for Mission. Maybe a little unfortunate for her. But now that we're healed up, let's get back out there again. At least now we know where to go when we're on our quest to find Mission's brother. That'll be kind of the precursor to loyalty missions, I guess. They were probably loyalty missions in this too, although I don't know that they were actually called that back when this game was come was uh, was brand new. Jo oh, right. We already talked to you. Okay, now, where are we off to? Strange Ruins, Path South, Path South. 
Let's take this path south. It's probably the same path south. Nope, it's not the same one. No, please, take my wife and children instead. Anything. Wow. <laughs> ah, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea. Kind of hard to feel sorry for that one. Mandalorian journal entry added. Blaster Carbine. Oh, so this is the same map we were on. Just a different part of it. We should go to the grove. At least the autosave is more recent than my manual save by a few minutes. We probably didn't lose too much. No. We'll just have to make our way out there, but now we know the path to the grove fairly easily. So what I'll do is I'll probably... Um... You're a merchant. Okay, sadly you don't really have anything. Um, I was looking more for healing items and whatnot. I'm sure I could probably get those inside the Enclave. But maybe if I just make better use of grenades and stuff, it'll work out. I find I collect those a lot and I use them occasionally, but I really don't make use of them as much as I probably should. Now, will it let me save? Oh, it actually will.
Okay. I think that victory deserves another save, honestly. Sandral grounds, no. Is this not the grove that I'm looking for? What the heck? Did I fight all those calf hounds for nothing at all? That's annoying as heck. Well, if that's the case, then I think we're just going to go back to the Enclave again. Get healed up for free. And we'll come back out. And I'll poke around a different direction. Actually, before we go back out... Excuse me, mission. We've got merchants right here. I might as well take advantage. Okay. Advanced med packs. I will take all of them. All right, fine. Thank you. So yeah, it auto-saves as soon as you leave the Enclave. That's handy. Because now we've got an auto-save with my new gear. All my med packs. go back this way but instead of going south to the or going on to the grove i'm not sure that was even south uh we'll keep looking for other exits or other areas maybe it's over here oh it is kind of south isn't it all right well we'll go up here oh we have to redo this battle What the? What the heck am I doing?
How am I not damaging him? Rude. Okay. Remains. What is over this way? That looks very similar to the Jedi Enclave. It's clearly not, but it looks similar. Metalli droid. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? I'm sorry, I'll be going now. Leave immediately. Only those on official family business are permitted within the estate. These settlers have come to Dantooine seeking privacy. Perhaps we should respect their wishes. That's not a bad idea. Let's make sure we get the whole area mapped out. There we go. Easy peasy. Ready. What? Wow, Karth was the only survivor. I think we have to get rid of this guy in the center. to oh this is where we originally came in interesting well let's not get too close to the cath hounds then we're gonna go see where this leads grove again hopefully a different one Hopefully the one we're actually looking for. Oh, crap. This looks way too similar.
Oh. What? Hmm? Uh -huh. Huh? Okay, I think this is a different part of the grove. The grove is a larger area. We couldn't really... I'm here. guys it's a little after five o'clock i would love nothing more than to keep going but i think this is probably about time to get going so i'm just gonna load up our latest save when was that 13 18 that's this auto save we're gonna go back to the ship be all healed up and we're gonna continue this not tomorrow but the day after that'll be the saturday also, this is a good time to let you all know that uh, this month, normally I do a long stream of the month on the final Friday of the month, but that's going to be May 27th. And May 27th this year is when Obi-Wan Kenobi premieres. So I'm not going to be streaming. Well, I might be streaming on that day, but I'm not going to be streaming a long stream that's going to keep me from watching the show that day. So I'm going to be doing the long stream a week from Friday. So, like, next week on Friday is when I'll be doing it. So, let's save again. Okay. And we're going to go find someone awesome to raid. I have a feeling I know where we're going to end up. It's either going to be Udi or Greeny. And I actually don't think that Udi's D&D game with Arkadel and the others is on today. So it's most likely we're going to finally get to see uh, Greeny's Oblivion Project. But let's check the list. Mm, yeah, it looks like there is no d and D. I I don't see any of the players streaming. Udi's not on, Ark's not on, Trimpella's not on. So I do believe we're going to go watch Greeny with his heavily modded version of Oblivion. Because that sounds like it was going to be an amazing good time. Oh my god. Oh my god, those Oblivion graphics. Oh, they're terrifying. I just loaded up Greeny's channel. Okay, guys, let me get you... Greenie's link. Not that any of you need it. I'm gonna go raid Greenie Trini. Hey, I give you the link correctly, and I'll get you the raid call as well. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel. If you are a sub, if you're not a sub. You can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, I encourage you to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. Just copy the raid message, arrange whatever emotes you want to use the way you want to use them. It'll all be good in my book. So we're going to go visit Greeny. You know him. He's a longtime friend of the channel. He's one of my mods in this channel, and he's a fantastic streamer in his own right. He is playing the classic RPG Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. So we're going to see what he's done to the game, see how his mods are going, see how the gameplay is going and i will be back here tomorrow night for some lego star wars the skywalker saga yes you got it vicious i'm gonna copy that raid message myself actually while i'm talking about it so that i am ready as well 
There we go. So thank you so much for an amazing stream this evening. Thank you for your generosity and the donations for the kids. I really appreciate that. And for any other support that you give as well, whether it's a resub, a gifted sub, just hanging out in the chat, following the channel, chatting in the channel, or even lurking. You wouldn't believe how valuable lurking is. That increases the view count, which makes the channel look more inviting and more appealing to people who are browsing around trying to figure out where they want to spend their time. And it always means so much to me when you guys have decided that hanging out and spending your time here is worthwhile. So thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. I know streamers say that. I know even as a viewer, it's there's this you know this idea that uh, the streamers just say that to be nice, but no, it really, it sincerely, it really makes more of a difference than you could ever imagine. It really does. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go and share some of that support over with Greeny, and we'll see what he's been up to. So I'll meet you over in his channel in just a few minutes, and I'll see you back here tomorrow night. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your uh, night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Uh, well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. Did I miss something? Why is Serana murdering me? Gang up on Gordonite? It's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. <laughs> 